Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to explain the find method in MongoDB. To use the find method, type db, the name of the collection you're working with, then add the find method. That will return all documents within this collection. But at times you might not want all documents, you might want specific documents. Here's how. We will add some arguments to the find method. db.students.find The first argument is a document object. The parameter is the query parameter. It specifies selection filters. Maybe you just need one student. Well, you would just list that criteria here. I would like any students with the name of SpongeBob. That would return any document where the first name is SpongeBob. That would return everybody that has that name. I'm just going to copy this. Let's find any students that have a GPA of 4.0. Within our document, the search filter is GPA 4.0. That would give us Sandy. Let's find if any students are not full-time. Full-time, I will set that to be false. There is one student, Larry, full-time is set to false. The query parameter is very similar to a WHERE clause in SQL. You can even use more than one filter. Search for any student that has a GPA of 4.0, each filter is comma separated, as well as full time being true. With my data set, this does not return any results. But to add more than one filter, they're comma separated within a document body. With the find method, there is a second parameter. That is the projection parameter. We would pass another document body. They're each comma separated. If you don't specify the query parameter, you would just return all documents. With the projection parameter, you can return specific fields. Maybe you don't want all the information that's available. Perhaps I would just like each student's name. So we would set the field to be true. You can use one as well, but my own preference is true, just because it's more readable. Return every document, but only give their name. And here they are. MongoDB will give you the ID regardless. You can set that to be false within the projection parameter. Underscore ID false. I just want everybody's name. There we are, SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Gary, Larry. Let's get every student's name as well as their GPA. So ID, I will set that to be false. I don't want that. Name will be true. I would like that. GPA will also be true. I would like that. Here is every student's name, as well as their GPA. So that's the projection parameter. If there's a field you would like, or don't want, you can set that to be either true or false when you display your data. All right, let's do the same thing with compass. With compass, this text box is for the find method. So within a set of curly braces, I would like to find any name that's SpongeBob. Then press find. That returns one result. Return any student with the GPA of 4.0. That's Sandy. Return any students that are not full-time. Full-time is false. That gives us Larry. Now, if you go to more options, there is a projection parameter if you only want some data. Let's find every student, but for the projection parameter, I would only like their name, I'll set that to be true, and their GPA. That's true as well. Again, that still gives us the ID. Let's set that to be false if you don't want that. ID, false, and that should get rid of the IDs. Here's each student's name and their GPA. All right, everybody, that's the find method. Two optional parameters that we can send arguments to are the query parameter. That's selection criteria. It's similar to a where clause in SQL. We're trying to limit the results. And the projection parameter, that's similar to selected columns in SQL. You're looking for specific fields. All right, everybody, and that is the find method in MongoDB.